the news network for the people, combating mainstream media. New York will be the first state to test the treatment of the coronavirus with blood from recovered patients. Now this method dates back more than a century, but it has not been used widely in the United States in decades. Now hoping to stem the toll of the state's surging coronavirus outbreak, New York health officials plan to begin collecting plasma from people who have recovered and injecting the antibody-rich fluid into patients still fighting the virus. Now Governor Andrew Cuomo announced the plans to on March 23, 2020. Now this treatment, known as convalescent plasma, dates back centuries and was used during the flu epidemic of 1918, an era before modern vaccines and antiviral drugs. Now, some experts say the treatment, although somewhat primitive, might be the best hope for combating the new coronavirus until more sophisticated therapies can be developed, which could take several months. Now, in an article published by the Journal of Clinical Investigation, Johns Hopkins, Arturo Casadeval, and Lise Ann Pirovsky from the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, New York State, that COVID-19 has the potential to affect billions of people with a B, billions, and as of yet, there are no vaccines or drugs available for the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes the disease. Casadeval and Pirovsky say that human convalescent serum is an option for prevention and treatment of the COVID-19 disease. They say it could be available in a short time scale as long as enough people who had recovered from it could donate their blood. Now this technique has been used to stem outbreaks of several diseases in the early 20th century, including measles, mumps, and influenza. Retrospective research, they explain, showed people who had been given the serum had a lower mortality than those who did not receive it. Now over a decade ago, it was also used Used during the H1N1 influenza pandemic where the serum was used to treat individuals in intensive care. It was also used during the Ebola outbreak in West Africa in 2013 with two patients transferred to the United States surviving the disease after treatment. Quote, there have been tests that show when a person is injected with antibodies that then stimulates and promotes their immune system against that disease, Kumo said. It's only a trial. It's a trial for those people who are in serious conditions. But the New York State Department of Health has been working on this with some of New York's best healthcare agencies, and we think it shows promise, and we're going to be starting that this week, end quote. Now, New York has seen a dramatic rise in coronavirus cases in recent days, with about 20,000 confirmed cases and more than 150 deaths as of today, this afternoon, more than in any other state. State health officials said they expect to get approval from the FDA to begin the plasma trial in the coming days. A spokesman for the FDA confirmed to NBC News that the agency is, quote, working expeditiously to facilitate the development and availability of convalescent plasma, end quote. Now, at a White House briefing last week, FDA Commissioner Stephen Hahn singled out the treatment as a promising option to fight the disease in the near term. Quote, that's great news, end quote, said Dr. Arturo Casadevel, an infectious disease expert at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, who has been calling for widespread use of convalescent plasma. Quote, when we started talking about this a few weeks ago, it was just an idea, and now it seems it's going to become a reality. End quote. Infusions of convalescent plasma were associated with milder symptoms and shorter hospital stays for some patients during the 2002 SARS outbreak, and initial reports from China suggest convalescent plasma might also be effective in dulling the effects of COVID-19. The treatment is not without risks. There is danger in giving a patient the wrong type of blood or inadvertently transmitting other pathogens in a transfusion, but safety advancements over the past two decades have made adverse outcomes rare. In New York, health officials said they plan to begin recruiting patients who have fully recovered from COVID-19 in the coming days. That effort, officials said, would likely start in the New York suburb that was the center of the state's initial outbreak a few weeks ago because the concentration of people there who have already recovered. Potential donors would first need to undergo tests to ensure that they are no longer contagious and to confirm that their blood contains the antibodies needed to fight the disease, state officials said. After 
that donors would go to a local blood bank to give plasma. The liquid part of blood left once cells and platelets have been removed, although the state is still working out logistical details. New York will begin offering the treatment only to critically ill patients, but experts said once it is proven safe and effective, the treatment will likely work best if given to patients before symptoms become too severe. Casa Devel said past studies indicate that proactive infusions of convalescent plasma might also be effective in protecting frontline healthcare workers from becoming seriously ill. Similar efforts are underway across the country as hospitals scramble to prepare for an onslaught of critically ill COVID-19 patients, similar to what's happened in New York and Seattle. Doctors from nearly two dozen hospitals have joined the Johns Hopkins-led effort, Casa Devel said, including researchers at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota, the Stanford University Medical Center in California, and the Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York. The researchers have been in contact with the FDA through the weekend, he said, and they hope to launch clinical trials similar to the one in New York in the coming weeks. Now, Michael Felmbernbaum, an FDA spokesman, said the agency could not comment on specific COVID-19 clinical trials, but he had confirmed that the agency was working to facilitate the use of convalescent plasma. Quote, the agency is actively engaging with researchers to discuss the possibility of collaboration on the development of a master protocol for the use of convalescent plasma, with the goal of reducing duplicative efforts, end quote, Felberbaum said. Initial funding has been provided for Casa Devel's project, and he and his team are now working to secure more resources. According to the Hub, the biggest problem implementing the system is timing. A person would need to be treated with early symptoms to make it most effective. Casa Devel and Pirovsky say that while there are a number of unknowns, such as what dose would be effective, <laughs>